Don't move. General Freya. Prince Alphonse. The Dragon Prison Seal. It was broken. How did you know that? Corporal Nico Benix reported the incident. Ah! Uh, you little snitch, Nico! Alf only broke the Dragon Prison Seal so that he could save me. It is my fault, not his. Please, don't blame him. It is only the Emperor, or his agents, that have the authority to break that seal. In the Meridian Bible, it is inscribed as law. I'm the one who broke the law. You can arrest me. Leave them out of this. Prince Vice has ordered the arrest of all those involved. Arrest all three of them. Lord Mahat has been poisoned, or some such. He is not feeling well. I will deal with you in his place. Yes, brother. Looking good, Lark. Especially for a man who just stole our rogress. Ah. Uh, hmm. Is there something you'd like to say? Go ahead. You may speak. What happened with Sima was beyond our control. I don't care. Huh? Brother, I thought I explained this to you. Lark wasn't trying to steal Sima from Dragon Prison. Silence, Elf! I don't remember asking you. Ah, oh, please forgive me. What matters now is that our Rogress is gone. He's not. He forged a bond with Lark, the child of Issa. Hmm. You were either too slow to react, or you've really got some guts. Your Highness, what are you doing? Have you heard of the Skywalk that fell in Okina? Er, uh, yes. Those Olkinian fanatics use that to siphon the ray stream. They're the culprits here. We need to stop the Skywalk, or else our ray-starved empire will be no more. Olkina has refused our requests to deactivate the Skywalk. They claim it's their historical right. Consequently, we will dispatch a special team to disable the Skywalk. By Imperial command of the Crown Prince, Legionnaire Lark Bright Lagoon will lead the operation. You are to infiltrate the Olkina capital and render the Skywalk completely inoperational. Huh. First Sergeant Lagoon will be entrusted with choosing his partners. Furthermore, the Republican Diva must accompany the force. That is all. Me? Ah. Uh. You seem dissatisfied. You are hardly able to refuse. Under normal circumstances, you and your family would be executed. You'll receive your contract directly from me. See me in my office after this. Are you all right, Lurk? Alf, what's going on? Why does Riffia have to be involved? I don't know. What is my brother thinking? As long as I'm with you, Lark, I'll go anywhere I'm asked. Okay, I guess I'll go see Sir Vice. I'll go with you. If things go wrong, it'll lead to war. I need to know what my brother wants.
Ah, there you are. Here is your contract. What? Are you still upset? I trust that money is not the issue here. I'm grateful for that, sir, but I didn't steal the Rogress. Do you not understand the position you are in? You should face the death penalty for your crimes. But instead, all can be forgiven with just one mission. You really can't complain. Actually, you should be thanking me. It's a great privilege for a lowly legionnaire to have the honor of visiting the Crown Prince's office. Yes, sir. You have a gift for getting on my nerves, you know. I never dreamed that you would bring a disgusting North Noiris diva here with you. Vice, where are your manners? Hmm. <laughs> Sir Vice, why must the disgusting diva accompany me on this mission? There are Rogress dwelling within that wretched Skywalk. They're kept there by the Alkenian divas. Those Alkina scum place all their faith in them. To disable the Skywalk, you must quell them first. It will not be an easy task. For normal people, that is. So Lark needs to neutralize the Alkina Rogress by binding with it like he did with Sima. Yes, I understand that Lark managed the feat earlier, Alphonse. Do you believe you can do that without Riffia's help? You expect me to know? Pax? Bonds? The child of Issa? I have no clue what's going on. Well, exactly! That's why I ordered Riffia to accompany you. Ah, I'm getting sick of this. What exactly does bonding with a Rogress mean anyway? After the child of Issa chooses a law, the Rogress power allows him to understand how the world works. But I don't even know what a child of Issa is. The god Issa controls the world from the holy land of Noir. I know that already, but what does that have to do with Lark being the child of Issa? So, are you Issa's blood relative or just an agent? I wish this was all clearer. Do I look like some kind of divine agent to you? Riffia. Is it true that Lark already chose Imaginal's law? Yes. O oh, ye ruler, chooseth thy law. Take from it a new law, inviting understanding and reason. Thus creating innovation unto the world. In other words, the creation of a new country. What was that? A passage from the introduction of the Meridian Bible. The Meridian Bible? The origin of the Empire's governing laws? Sounds pretty abstract. Indeed. The introduction is... Lark, your fate is in the hands of things of which you have no comprehension. Sir Vice, if you know anything, please tell me. I will, but not until after you've completed this mission. Then we will know if you are truly the child of Issa. Vice, wait. This can only lead to conflict. Indeed. May it come quickly. Vice, if we end up in a war, it will be our subjects who suffer the most. And they do not suffer now from Alkina's meddling with the race dream? Surely, with the right diplomacy. I'm afraid the time for negotiating disappeared with Sima. Thanks to you rather carelessly breaking the seal at Dragon Prison, I should add. But that's... If you're so worried about conflict, then why don't you join Lark on his mission? Do I have permission to do so? Ha ha ha! Even if I gave you permission, I doubt Father would ever allow it. Neither would the nobles or commoners, hoping you'll be the next emperor. Enough of this! Be gone! I have absolutely no idea what's going on. It looks like my brother knows what Riffia is trying to do. I am merely guiding the child of Issa. I'm sure you are. Once this mission is over, we'll make Sir Vice tell us everything he knows. Have you even tried to think any of this over? I wouldn't know where to start. The important thing here is the money I'm getting. Once I complete this mission in Antrax, I'll have as much cash as I could ever want. I'll help you too. Oh, right. I have to bring her along, too. Hmm, I wonder who I should choose for the group. How about we think it over after getting back to your house? 
I bet your mother and Master Zamuel are worried. To say nothing of Adele, too. I guess so. Come on, Rivia. We're going home. To the Republic? No, to my home. I'm staying at Zamuel's Martial Arts School in the Castle Town. I'll set it up so that you can stay there, too. <gasps> with you? If you've got a problem with that, I could ask Alf. No, no. I'm happy this way. Great. Then, let's go. Wait! I'm coming, too. I should pay my respects to Master Zamuel. Really? Well, okay. Mr. Dark! Help me! My prince! Freya, please. Prince Alf's trying to keep a low profile. Do you need guards to escort you? Not for this trip, no. Besides, I've got Lark here. My prince, I don't know if you should be so familiar with a common legionnaire. Lark is a very dear friend to me. Look, forget about that! Sir Alf, I need your help! They're taking me to the stockade! Stockade? It's like a prison. Why is Nico being taken there? He fled from Dragon Prison, my prince, thus deserting his duty. Heh, <sighs> I guess you're right. I forgot about that. It's all lies, Mr. Lark. I went to get help. That's it! Phew. <sighs> Not only did you run out on us, but you betrayed us all to Vice. Some jail time could do you good. Mr. Lark? By your leave, my prince. Maybe we should have helped him. Nah, he had it coming. Did Nico do something wrong? He abandoned the prince, so he's being punished for it. Let's get going. tricked us. How can you say that? We was just helping you out. In the Marine Empire, we follows the South Noirism religion we does. You pagans could have been skewered by that nasty crown prince. We are Noirist preachers. Noirists come from South Noir. We are all of Issa's flock. Yeah, yeah. Yous can teach us all about it. <laughs> this place ain't no good for you. We's gonna go someplace quieter. Stop! Please! Lark, we have to help them. I can't stand by while women are being attacked. It is important for us to protect the preachers. Fine, fine. Protect the weak. Blah, blah. Insolence. Take your hands off, Luz. Ow! Stupid girl. We was treating you nicely. Now look what you gone and done. Sara! What the? These people are visiting Royal City. I don't appreciate this kind of treatment. I don't remember asking you, man. You's gonna be sorry if you get in the way. <sighs> Hope you like being splattered all over the ground. Huh? We got to get out of here. Whoa! Huh. Thank you for helping us. No thanks are necessary. I'm glad you're safe. 
What was that all about? We were mistaken for Alkinians and refused board at an inn. They summoned the town guard. Then those two said they'd show us a nicer inn, and they wouldn't take no for an answer. I've heard about bandits kidnapping women to sell later. I imagine that's what they had planned for you two. Are people of other religions not allowed to use inns? I'm North Nororist, but I still stayed in one. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Maybe not, but Alkinians getting the cold shoulder sure isn't anything new around here. Alkinians believe that prayer and martyrdom guarantee glory in the afterlife. Not everyone agrees. Are you a North Nuarist diva? Yes, I am. That's strange. I wonder why there are two of you. Two? Hey, how do you know about Rifia? We've been to Benetnash to preach the sacred word. Choosing one thing means that something else must be foregone. It matters not what our soul hopes for. What is chosen survives. What is not dies. Please do not forget this. Luz. Come, Sora. Shall we go? Whoa, wait a second. Did you have something you wanted to say? Man, why do religious people all have to be so weird? Huh? It's good to be back. How's Mom's condition? Hmm, but she's been worrying about you. We received a message that you'd been arrested. I'm sorry. It was all because of me. It's my fault. I wasn't able to keep him out of trouble. You can apologize to Andy if you must. <laughs> I suppose so. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. It wasn't your fault. Anyway, Adele, where's Samuel? He's out right now. Did you need something? Yeah. I just wanted to let him know that I'll... Hmm, be going away on a mission for a while. Oh, really? For how long? Who knows? Huh? Who knows? Mark, who's this? Oh, yeah. She's Rifia. It's a... Uh... Long story, but she's coming with us. Can you let her stay here till we leave? I'm Rifia. Nice to meet you. This contract is gonna be huge. I'll be rolling in it, I promise. That'll take care of all the debts. Well, I'm gonna go see Mom. She's going to be traveling with Lark too? Well, yes. But Adele, Lark was ordered to take her. You see? Hey, Alf, come say hello to Mom. I'll be right there. Listen, Adele, there's nothing to worry about. They're not together. Huh? Uh, whoa, whoa, what are you talking about, Alf? Hey, Alf, don't get ahead of yourself. It's... it's nothing like that at all. Alf! Look, now Lark is getting upset. You better hurry up. Oh, all right. Lark... Lark, I was so worried. Sorry, Mom. My sincerest apologies for worrying you, Elena. Prince Alf! No, no, no need to get up for me. Not in your condition. Please forgive my directness. 
But why did Prince Weiss arrest Lark anyway? Oh, that's no big deal. I got a new mission out of it in the end. Oh, I see. Say, who's the young lady behind you? Ah, uh, she's uh, working for me. Sir Weiss ordered her on the mission with me. I'm working for you. Just go along with it, okay? How else are we going to explain it? Nice to meet you, Elena. I'm working for Lark. Don't you have a name? Oh, sorry. I'm Riffia. I Riffia? Perhaps you should learn not to be quite so forthcoming with that information. Yeah, this ain't the Republic. It might be best to keep your identity a secret when traveling abroad. Really? I hadn't really thought about it like that. Thank you, you two. You're a very interesting young girl, Riffia. I hope you won't worry too much about me. Lark can be quite uncivilized, but please look after him. Yes, ma'am. I think Lark is very gentle, actually. Oh, my. Hey, who are you calling gentle? Well, I must be off. Elena, please take care of yourself. Oh, sure. See you when I'm back. Wait a minute, Lark. Nice to meet you, Elena. Goodbye. It's a pity I wasn't able to meet Master Zamuel. What is he a master of? Sword fighting. He taught us. You thought he was a math teacher or something? I met Lark when Master Zamuel was invited to the castle. Oh, I didn't know about that. Alf, I almost forgot. Could you have the contract money from the Fell Dragon Hunt sent to the doctor? The doctor? You saw my mom, didn't you? She's sick. Lark wanted to create his own mercenary outfit, but he became a legionnaire in order to pay for his mother's treatment. Alf, I didn't ask you to give her the whole story. Sorry, I'll take care of the contract money for you, okay? See you later. You'll hear from the army tomorrow about the Antrax mission. Antrax, eh? Huh? Well, I've already introduced you to Adele, so make yourself at home. What are you going to do? Well, I'll hang around for a bit, I guess. Then I'll go to bed once I get tired. Okay, I'll come with you. Why? Because I want to be with you. Huh? I finally found the child of Isa. I wouldn't dream of parting ways with you now. Huh? Not that again. On second thought, maybe I'll just go to bed now. Hey. Huh? I'm going to sleep now. Okay. Good night. Uh, how long were you planning on being here? Aren't I allowed to be here? I want to sleep with you, Lark. What? How am I supposed to get any sleep with you here? Hmm. I guess you're right. I wonder where I should sleep. Go ask Adele. Lark, why are you angry? I'm not angry. Just get out already. Oh. Lark, wake up. Leave me alone, Adele. There's someone here from the Imperial Army. Get up, now. Okay, okay, I'm up. Oh, brother. <laughs> you sure look funny when you get up in the morning. Shut up. So, Riffia's from the Republic, Clark? She's a North Noirism diva, right? Did she tell you that? I told her to keep her identity a secret. Oh, no. I, well, I kind of ringed it out of her. Why'd you do that? Don't worry, Lark. The secret's safe with me. Is there something between you two, by the way? Huh? Never mind. 
Sorry. Legionnaire Lark Bright Lagoon, I presume? That's me. I'm here to deliver the 50,000 Rico payment for your next mission. You will receive the rest of your fee upon successfully completing the mission. What? I was told I'd be paid as much as I wanted. Yes, you are to place your offer after completing the mission. What are you going to do if I ask for all the Empire's wealth? Take that up with the Crown Prince. After you complete the mission, that is. A humble legionnaire should be honored to be in the presence of such nobility. Ugh. Is there anything uglier than the greed of a man? You wench! Gah! What's this? What are you doing with my lovely granddaughter? Insolent whelp! Old man Zamuel! How many times have I told you, Lark? You will refer to me as Master Zamuel. Zamuel? The Crimson Mist? <laughs> so even a little mouse like you has heard of me. Zamuel, the Crimson Mist, invincible swordsman of the Lord Knights, the strongest mercenary in Fulheim. Do you want my autograph? I, uh, I better be going. Kids these days. Since Lord Mahat fell sick, and that young pup Prince Vice took over, the army's really gone downhill. Grandpa! Welcome back! Ah, sweet Adele! Have you been behaving? Gramps, where have you been? Enough of your stupid questions, you! Stupid? Oh well, I need your advice. Hmm... I'll be taking that before you get any advice out of me, laddie. Ah, uh, hey, what are you doing? How long have you been living in my home without paying rent? So what? The school's making money hand over fist, right? That's got absolutely nothing to do with this, laddie. <laughs> And you call yourself the Invincible Swordsman of the Lord Knights. You know Leon, their leader? He could crush you like a bug. What's happening? I heard a loud voice. I don't remember there being any pretty lasses like you amongst my students. Riffia. She's a friend of yours, Lark? Uh, yeah. I see. Well, off to my room. I'll hear what you've got to say in there. Something to do with that young lass, I'm sure. How did you know? Ha! <laughs> Why else would someone like her be with some boorish oaf like yourself? Adele, come with me. Well, sorry for being an oaf. That's all right, Lark. You're a gentle oaf. Beauty and the Beast. Watch your mouth, old man. I'm not afraid to give you a beating, you know. Your bark's worse than your bite. I'm still more than a match for you. Wow, really? Well, maybe. You must be very strong, Samuel. <laughs> Such praise from a Norse noirism diva. I'm honored I am. Huh? I heard it from Adele. Sounds like you picked up a diva during the Fell Dragon hunt. 
Rifia, how much did you tell her? I thought I told you to keep it a secret. But she told me to make myself at home. Wouldn't that make Adele my sister? I don't want to keep secrets from my sister. Well, it's too late now. So, here's what the problem is, Gramps. Infiltrate Antrax? Why'd he give you that mission? We don't have diplomatic relations with Alkina. So I was wondering how I'd even get into Antrax. Well, the quickest way is to disguise yourself as an Alkinian and ride one of the pilgrim ships. All Alkinians make a pilgrimage to Antrax in the Alkina Holy Lands. One of those ships comes into port here twice a month. In fact, I heard that an Okina ship came into port this morning. Really? Great! I'd better go check it out. Wait, Lark! If you're going to Antrax... No, never mind. Huh? You're acting weird, Gramps. It's nothing, laddie. Lark! If you're going to the port, then I want to go too. Yeah, yeah, you want to be with the child of Isa. Whatever. Come on then. <laughs> Thank you, Lark. Um, can I... Hmm? Can you what? No, nothing. See you later.
that man? The guy who attacked us in Jada. He was Olkinian all along. And Olkinian was responsible for what happened to Mother. Oh, yeah. That's the guy, huh? Yes. The man who attacked the Singh Ministry and murdered my mother. Man, what is going on here? Are these Alkinian jerks trying to provoke a fight with North Noirists? That could start a war between the Republic and Alkina. What are we going to do, Lark? Huh? What do you mean, do? We can't pretend to be Alkinian as long as that man is on the ship. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We'll need to find another way into Antrax, I guess. We can't reach Okina without a boat, though. Hmm. Let's go see if Alf has any ideas. I should let him know about that guy, too. Ah, so the man who attacked Rifia in Jada is an Alkinian. In Alkina, the church and the state are practically one and the same. If my brother hears of this, it could lead to an attack on Antrax. I'd say so, and it does seem like Service is itching for war. It must have been a terrible shock for you, Rifia. I know we all follow different gods, but how could any man of faith do this? Don't you need to return to Bennett Nash to report about this, Rifia? Why? What do you mean, why? Isn't it obvious? You have to report it to the Republic Senate so they can punish Alkina. That won't bring back my mother or the servants. Well, no, but... I just want to know why. Why did they attack the singing ministry in Bennett Nash? And why did they kill my mother? I must remain with you, Lark. You are the child of Isa. You were ordered to go to Antrax. It feels as if Isa is guiding us. You must think you'll find the answer to those questions in Antrax, yes? Wasn't your mother's dying wish that you see Sima in Jada? Yes, so that I could find the child of Isa. And that's how I met you, Lark. What were you planning to do after that? You said you were going to guide me to Imaginal's Law. What does that mean, anyway? I don't know. Huh? I didn't think I would find the child of Isa so quickly. 
I thought I would have more time to contemplate my next move. I thought maybe Sima would tell me what to do. Not much of a guide, are you? I... I'm sorry. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't really care about this Child of Issa business anyway. Getting back on track, Alf, what should we do about a ship? Ah, uh, yes. Let's go to the port together. I'll speak to the Navy. Thanks. Nico, weren't you in jail? <laughs> Prince Weiss gave me a special pardon. But anyway, good timing. I was just looking for you. Oh, great. What are you going to annoy me with this time? No, no, it's Adele. She's in trouble. Adele? Yeah, Samuel's martial arts school was just attacked. What? No. Did the Okinian attack the school because I stayed there? I don't know. All I know is, it fell under attack. You gotta help us, Mr. Lark. Get moving, Lark. Don't just stand there, Nico. Huh? You're coming too. But I'm more of a rear guard kind of guy, Mr. Lark. Move it, before I make mincemeat out of you. Okay, okay, I get it.
Do you know where Zamuel's martial arts school is? Oh, what a coincidence. We were just heading there now. Hey, Riffia, what are you doing? Oh, really? Could you take me with you? Cecile has a message for Elena at the school, but can't find her way there. For my mom? What message? I'm afraid I can't tell you, even if you are her son. Such is the path of valor. Lark, that doesn't matter now. We have to get to Adele and the others. Ah, uh, listen, little girl. Little girl? That's no way to speak to a veteran warrior! Huh? This little brat is a veteran warrior? Alright then, let's go. Adele, where are you? Nico, what's the meaning of this? Uh, I don't know. When I got here, we were under attack by some nasty-looking men. So you left them to fend for themselves while they were being attacked? Um, well, I, uh... Ah! Mom! Samuel! Lark! Oh, Lark! It's horrible! Mom! What happened? Where are Samuel and Adele? Uh, are you hurt? Lark, calm down! Ask one question at a time, or you'll just confuse her. Sorry. Uh, please, tell us what happened. These strange men attacked the martial arts school and stole something from the armory. Zamuel said they were a band of thieves. He and Adele left to chase after them. Adele did? Oh no, she's in far too much danger. You're Elena Lagoon, aren't you? My name is Cecile. I got this from some old man named Zamuel. Oh, what's that? Uh, a monster? Oh, a Copin. I've seen those before. Copin? Is that what this stupid-looking thing is called? We Copin are not stupid. Ah! It talks! I have a message for Leon. I've found our old enemy. He's on the Mondelro coast. We're going to keep after him, but we need your help. Get here as soon as you can. If something happens, take care of Adele for me. That is all. Leon? THE Leon? The legendary commander of the Lord Knights? But Leon disappeared after the Lord Knights were disbanded. What is Master Samuel thinking? Leon should be near Diamond. Should I let him know about this? What? You're kidding me. Samuel and Leon have been writing to each other via Carrier Falcon. We could attach a message to the Falcon to contact him. A Falcon, though? Is that reliable? But if this message is for real, that's probably what Zamuel wants us to do. I agree with Nico, Mom. I don't want to hang around waiting to see if Leon turns up or not. I'm going to go see him myself. M me too. I go wherever the child of Isa goes. Yes, you should do that. I'm worried about them too. Could you come here, Cecile? I'll write a letter for Leon. Lark, we have to hurry. 
if we don't catch up with Samuel and Adele. Yeah, if that guy's asking for help, he must be up against one tough opponent. Let's go. Hello? Move it, you idiot. If you won't do anything else, you can at least be my shield. Hurry it up. Yes, sir. I'm coming. That's Leon's falcon. Elena's message was tied to its leg. Hmm. I wonder if it'll really deliver the letter to Leon. Who knows? Have you come to see us off, Cecile? No. I'm going with you. What are you talking about? A young girl like you can't. I am young, but I'm also a magnificent warrior. I'm interested in Leon, the phenomenal swordsman they call Godspeed. If I go with you, then I might get a chance to meet him. I don't have time to babysit some little kid. Are you sure? The Mandelrow Coast is a pretty big place. I was going to tell you where Samuel was headed, but if you don't need me to... How do you know where he is? Because I heard him and the girl talking. So come on, take me with you, please. Helping people is a fundamental part of the path of valor. I want to help people and meet Leon. If you take me, I'll tell you which way that old man was going. If we take you? You shouldn't attach conditions to helping people. Lark, this is just wasting time. Fine, we'll take you with us. Just don't do anything stupid. Of course not. The old man said that they would take the path down the coast to the south of Diamond. Okay, let's go! People need saving! <laughs>